Hey, Fred here with CJ Pony Parts. If you've been following our Project F-150 EcoBoost, you've seen we've already done some things to try to improve the front end of this truck. We've installed LEDs in the headlights and a Starkey LED grill light kit, but the factory chrome grill just isn't cutting it for us. We want something that looks a little bit more aggressive, so today we're going to be installing a T-Rex X-Metal grill in our 2016 F-150 EcoBoost. This T-Rex X-Metal grill, which was made in the USA, is a direct replacement grill for all 2015 through 2017 F-150s without the forward-facing camera. This grill features a one-piece form the mesh insert, a heavy-duty 12-gauge steel frame with a black powder-coated finish, and contrasting chrome studs, which will give our F-150 a much more aggressive style and a rugged look. Tools you'll need for this installation, a quarter-inch ratchet, 7mm socket, 8mm socket, 10mm socket, an extension, and a flathead screwdriver or trim removal tool. In order to install the T-Rex grill, the entire grill has to come off the truck. In order for the grill to come off, the whole headlight panel assembly has to come off, so we're going to take that off first. There's two 7mm screws and one clip holding this trim panel in. This part might be a little nerve-wracking. You might feel like you're going to break the trim panel. But if you pull it up and over the trim back here, and then pull it up here and work your way to the middle, you should be fine. Now repeat the process for the other trim panel. With both headlight trim panels removed, we can remove this upper radiator cover by removing these 10 trim panel clips. In case you don't have a panel removal tool, you can use a flathead screwdriver to remove these clips. With all 10 clips removed, you can remove the panel. With the radiator cover off, there's four 10 millimeter bolts you can remove and then four pins. These are a little bit tougher to remove. On the bottom of each side of the grill, there's an eight millimeter bolt that needs to be removed. There's three clips on each side of the radiator that need to be removed holding in this shield. You probably won't have to do this step, but since we installed the Starkey LED grill light, we have to disconnect the grill light in order to remove the grill. Finally, pop this clip out, unplug these two connectors, and remove the grill. With the grill off the truck, you want to make sure it's on a nice soft surface so you don't damage or scratch the grill. And now we want to transfer the shutter assembly over to the T-Rex grill, and we're going to start off by removing these three 10mm nuts. Remove the 10 millimeter nut that's at each corner of the grill. For this part, if you go to loosen the nut and it starts to spin, a trick for this is grab a screwdriver, twist it, apply some pressure to it, and you should be able to loosen the nut. Finally, there's an 8 millimeter bolt in the center of the grill. and just lift up on the shutter assembly. And take out the Starkey grill light, which will transfer over to the T-Rex grill. We're ready to start assembling the T-Rex grill. Make sure there's a soft cushion underneath so you don't damage the grill. And there's five brackets that need to be installed on this grill. Two large brackets that come with the grill go on the corners down here and face inward, and three brackets on the bottom that face down. This step isn't required if you don't have a Starkey grill light, but now we're going to reinstall our grill light and then the shutter.
get your hand through one of the shutters and reinstall one of the big clips that you removed earlier into the Starkey grill light. And one more on the other side. Now we can install the seven nuts that secure the shutter to the grill. We're gonna first put on this washer that's provided and then the stainless steel nut. And with all the fasteners secure, it's ready to be installed on the truck. Reinstall this clip and two connectors. Reinstall the four bolts on top of the shutter assembly. And reinstall the two big clips on top of the grill. Now we're going to reconnect the Starkey grill light kit. Reinstall the radiator cover and install the clips. Reinstall the headlight trim panel. Reinstall the trim clip, then your two 7mm screws. Now just repeat the process on the other side and your installation is finished. The T-Rex X Metal Grill is installed. It looks great and makes our truck look a lot more aggressive. We do plan on installing the T-Rex lower grill with the LEDs in the future, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a future episode. Installation for this grill should take you about one to two hours, and before you know it, you'll be heading down the road.